An increasing number of operational shooters are finding value in matches like the Sniper's Hide Cup. Gathering shooters from across the continent presents an unparalleled learning environment. Call sign 66 was present with two active Canadian Forces shooters. We don't have access to this kind of stuff in the city. It's readily accessible to shoot these kind of distances with this kind of wind. So for us, it's invaluable. We looked at it and thought this would be a great training opportunity for all of us in the unit. So it's uh, just like almost like drinking out of a fire hose for the uh, the amount of uh, eye-opening learning that we're doing, I guess. You can walk up to a stage and say, I'd never do that. Or you could look at it and say, I might be forced to do that, and you know, if, if you never practice it or never try it, then you're never going to know your limitations or, or become proficient in something that you suck at right now. So it's uh, never ending. Major win there. The wind was screwing with you, man. Big time. <laughs> I'm here with from uh, Calgary, to, uh, some PPCLI uh, active duty guys. And man, what an honor to shoot with active duty guys. Every time I have, I've got to shoot with a lot of American active duty, uh, Canadian police active duty, and now finally Canadian active duty. And uh, I love their attitude about things. Every guy, you know, works it for a living, they just get up and go and do it. They shoot it rather than trying to make it work for them. They just, they, they overcome the challenge. And I love that about them. Take it as a training opportunity and not a competition against a, a top-ranked shooter. It, it, you're on there just talking and not coming out and shooting a match, you've lost, you know? So the last place guy here is still beating the first place guy in the internet. Frank Jolly was gracious enough to bring the cup out here this year and we're happy enough to host it and, and kind of showcase our, our targets and our training facility. We host uh, a few matches every year out here. Uh, we do the Kettle Falls Steel Challenge, we do the long range operator for us and, and a few other monthly matches and, and different things like that. I try to make uh, the shooting a little more interesting and realistic. Um, we, we actually make the target sizes a little bit bigger when you have to be elevated, but uh, I've been doing this for about 30 years and I've never been on a range, uh, not so much a, a, a range, but hunting or contracting or in the military where I really got that perfect prone shot all the time. So we kind of mix it up. Uh, there are a few prone shots out here, but not many. It's uh, more you got to get up, get elevated, stabilize, and, and get on your target, you know, uh, locate, range, and engage. Something that we take back to where we work and do business and that we can teach our guys and it just makes us better overall, but then every time we come down, we're humble. You can't be ignorant to the fact that other people from other walks of life can teach you stuff that you do for a profession. I've learned a lot from Boom. the three days I've been here, and I'm gonna take all that back to my battalion, and I'm gonna pass it on to the guys that I work with. They can, they can use what we've learned from people here today that don't walk in our shoes or, or do what we do. Let's get back to Canada. Let's go to Canada. Fuck it. Carry yeah. on. Fucking A. Six six out. I'm out of here. Exactly.